Hi, this is James from Tabletop Gaming Guild, and today we're going to take a look at the Zombie Life Insurance. This is published by Capital Games Studio, and is a two to five player game. It takes about, says about 10 minutes, but we'll see. So in this game, you're going to be hedging your bets of whether you're going to be turned into a zombie or be able to remain a human. And you're going to be buying insurance to, uh, for the inevitable turning into a zombie or trying to hedge your bets on be staying a human and get a really great return on your investment for retaining your humanity. Let's go ahead down to the table here. I'll give you a general idea how the game plays and then we'll come back and I'll give you my final thoughts. Okay, so this is Zombie Life Insurance. I just want to show you this came with a gamification guide. So this basically tells you how the uh, life insurance works with, uh, in general, so how life insurance works and then how it works with the theme of the game. So I thought that was pretty interesting and a nice little flavor for the game and how the game mechanics sort of work with the theme of the game itself. Uh, to start the game up though, basically what you're going to do is you're going to give each player one of these human guides, you're going to give them three life points and you're going to give them three coins to start. All right, you're going to give them three action cards. So they'll have three action cards and then they'll have one of these uh, personal protective equipment cards. Uh, so the guide right here, the human guide is going to tell you what you can do on your turn. One of the, the first player is going to get this token and every round it'll be passed to the next player. And the game itself is going to take over six rounds. And the way that you know it's going to be uh, six rounds is at the end of every round, one of these cards flip. And once you hit your sixth card, you know it's the last round. So each player is going to get one turn per round and on their turn. So that means you'll get a total of six turns for the game. So you have to be very careful what you do. And you can only do two actions uh, on your turn potentially. So if you look at the human guide right here, so as long as you have health tokens and these will be worth five money at each at the end of the game, if you keep them. And just so you know, the person with the most money is the person that wins this game. You gain two coins. If you do this one, you'll get to perform two actions and draw a card, or you can gain three coins, perform no actions and draw one card. If you become a zombie, all three of these are flipped over, you do the zombie guide. And on your turn, you can only take these actions. Um, you can pick one of them, actually. Uh, vandalize, you look at the top two cards of the deck and return them back in any order. Scare, make a player lose two random action cards. And bite, look at the top four cards of the deck and remove one card from play. So you want to get as many insurance things and points you have before you turn into a zombie or try to prevent yourself from turning into a zombie. And this PPE will help you along the way. You can place this infection card back into the deck to stop a zombie uh, from uh, taking an action, which is pretty cool. Now, when you put these cards out, they have this uh, symbol right here with the down arrow. That means you have to pay two coins. And when it says place into the deck, you will take that deck and you can place it anywhere you want in the deck. You actually don't shuffle it. You put it where you want. So keep that in mind for that. So on your turn, let's say I do the top part, not the bottom part, because that's self-explanatory. I'll just gain three money and draw a card here. I'll just gain two money. I get to perform two actions before I draw a card. Okay. So for one of my two actions, I could play a card here. So end your turn without drawing a card, which sounds bad, but it's actually really good. You can see why in a second, uh, take a random card from a player's hand or place another card in your hand into any position in the deck, which is really cool. Now these, you don't worry about at all. So you don't worry about these bottom parts, but you can play these cards. If you play two of them, that's your two actions. The other thing you do for one of your actions or both your actions is you can buy insurance cards. The cost of the insurance card is here and the cost of playing the cards is here. So if I want to play this card here, I'm going to have to pay two money to play this card. If I want to play any of these cards, I play zero money. But if I want to purchase any of these cards, I would pay the money on the top. So if I want to pay endowment, I would pay one money and it would go into my place. What this means is every turn until this is resolved, it's going to cost me one coin if I want to keep it. If I don't pay that coin, I lose the card. And here it means that uh, I gain two coins 
plus two times the number of rounds that I survive. So every time I go through a round and put a coin on here, I will get another coin. And this will only happen if I don't become a zombie. So not all three of these flip. If all three of these flip, I only get two money. So this one endowment only works out if I don't become a zombie. So I'm going to look to not have these three things flip to become a zombie. Uh, investment here. This one investment is going to happen at the end of the round. Once the last player plays, the uh, for the round the card flips and this will determine the investment which i'll show you in a second this one here critical life insurance i'll get a payout once i have two of my three uh turn and then i will get eight money and that's not going to be um that's only when they do turn you can't buy it after that so once i have two of these flipped i can no longer buy this card the same with this one once i have three of these flipped and become a full-fledged zombie zombie i won't be able to get this card but it'll be worth 10 money now this is descending, so these stacks here uh, will go down. So buying them, it's going to entice you to buy these to get the bigger payout, but you want to get to become a level three zombie as fast as possible. This medical insurance, this does stay around. So this stay around until you don't pay the medical insurance each round. And every time you have one of these flip up to three times here, you'll get five coins. Those are those cards. We'll go over this guy in a second, but at the end of the turn, you're going to draw a card. If you draw an infection card, you will have to flip one of these tokens. Now, there's a couple ways around mitigating this card, but in general, uh, you are going to get infected. Then once you're infected, uh, you're going to uh, flip, yeah, so flip one of these over to your unhealthy side. So you have now become infected. You will then take this infection card and slot it into this deck anywhere that you want and then move on. Once everyone's taken their turn, the end of the round will trigger. When the end of the round, you'll flip one of these cards over and you'll look here. So here you'll get three coins if you have an investment for each of your investments. So at the end of the turn here, I would get three coins, or end of the round, I'm sorry. They're all different on the bottom. Some are two, some are zero, whatever. And that also your turn counter. Also, this would move clockwise and then we would begin another round. This will continue until the end of the sixth round. And at the end of the sixth round, you're gonna total up your points. If you have these endowments at the end of the game and you haven't turned to a zombie because they'll instantly net you two and get discarded when they are, and that's the same with all these, they will get discarded once they're used up, except for this guy. And they'll also get discarded if you don't pay the cost per round. Uh, you'll get this at the end of the game if you're not a zombie and you have these for each of them have, so you can get a lot of points there. You'll get any coins for any of these that are not flipped over. And the person with the most points wins. Remember, as soon as you flip the third one over during the game though, this card flips over and you use that side for the rest of the game. So that's the entire game of zombie life insurance. Let's go ahead back up the table here and I'll give you my final thoughts on this game. Okay, so zombie life insurance, it's, it's, a, it's an okay game. It's not amazing, it's not gonna knock your socks off, but it's okay. Component quality on this game is not so great. Uh, if you're going to be playing this game a lot like you like it, you should probably at least leave the cards. They're gonna probably deteriorate pretty quickly otherwise. And the game does play very quickly. It doesn't take 10 minutes. It's gonna take about probably 20 to 30 minutes, especially with that five player count. So I don't, I'm not sure where they got 10 minutes from. Uh, and this game actually plays better at the lower play counts. It, it, it plays worse as that play count increases. And uh, this is because you run out of insurance policies to purchase. And even though you only really have a couple turns for the entire game, it doesn't really feel like you do much in this game. You only have two actions on your turn that uh, get all rolled into what you're going to do. So I, I don't know. It's... It's definitely a game that if someone put on the table, I would probably play a different game. But if they absolutely wanted to play this, I would. So for me, myself, it's not going to be one that I keep in my collection. It's not gonna, I don't even think it's going to go into the, our board game library at all for the community. But I could see where the game could be fun. And if you like the overview, this game might be a game for you. So that's my thoughts on it. I'm a little lukewarm on this game. I really didn't enjoy it. 
I could see where it could be enjoyable. The theme is interesting in the game. I uh, wish the component quality was a little better, but yeah, there you go. So that's my thoughts on zombie life insurance. Thank you for watching.